guys, David Fine from Watch Your Lip. This is our Fast Fish series. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna show you, uh, by the way, this is what we do when there's no fish hitting. So today's been a slow day. It's nice and calm. And uh, one of the questions I get, a lot of people like to use spinning gear over conventional. What we got is our, this is my old Speedmaster. They don't even think they make these anymore. But I've got 30 pound test mono on this. And a lot of people are afraid of this style of reel because they can't learn to cast it without backlash. So what I'm gonna show you, go through a tutorial on how to cast a conventional reel. And we're gonna show you that my 10 year old son, Lorenzo, and my 12 year old daughter, with just a, a short tutorial, can cast a conventional reel without backlash. And guys, check this out. If you like it, give me a uh, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we're gonna show you a lot more about how to catch fish from the beach in South Florida. Check it out. All right, guys, I went to go park the car and I came back to see this beautiful picture of Lorenzo catching bait and Sophia pounding in the pipes. Guys, we are gonna catch fish. Look at the sunrise. We're catching fish, guys, I feel it today. Let's do this. Lorenzo's got his first pilcher. Okay, guys, so when you wanna cast conventional reels, uh, there's a couple things that are really, really gonna help you. And the first thing is, you gotta have the right amount of weight on when you're casting, because if you don't, if you have too little weight, you're not gonna be able to get the, the torque necessary to get that spool going. If you have too heavy a weight, you'll snap your line. And so what you gotta do is you kinda gotta gauge it. I've got 30 pound test on this reel right here. And a thir with 30 pound test, uh, you can go uh, five ounces, or even six ounces. This is a five ounce pyramid sinker, which is a very classical uh, weight that you're a classic type of style of weight that you fish from on the beach. And, um, and guys, I've got a five ounce weight. When you're practicing, what I'm gonna suggest you do before going out and fishing a conventional reel if you've never practiced, come out here, there's no hook on this, and just, just practice throwing it. Uh, check out my tutorial and go out, you can even go into a grass field and just practice now. You gotta make sure that you're nowhere near a place that you're gonna hit somebody because if that hits somebody in the head, that's uh, that's gonna kill somebody. So they're going, they're going, they gone. So uh, make sure that this is a safe place. We're just throwing out to an open ocean and there's no swimmers and so that's a safe thing. Okay, so if you're fishing 30 pound test like I'm fishing, uh, then you can probably use five or six ounces. If you're gonna go down to 20 pound test, you probably wanna fish four ounces, maybe five, but I, I've snapped a lot of 20 pound test lines with five pound test, so you, know, you gotta make sure that your line is new. I prefer monofilament when you're, when you're uh, distance casting. Braid casts further, but there's a lot more complications when it comes to braid. You can actually cast braid further. It actually spools off the line nicer, uh, but I prefer monofilament. There's a lot more forgiveness with monofilament. It's stretchy. Uh, it has a lot more elasticity. Braid has none. So, so when you're the reason I fish conventional uh, over spinning rods, guys, you actually fit a lot more line on one of these reels than you do most spinning rods, uh, spinning reels, and you, you actually have a lot more control when you're casting uh, on like accuracy when you're casting. And it takes a lot of practice. It takes some getting used to. I've been throwing these things for now almost 30 years. And so, uh, you know, it, it just takes some getting used to, but once you get used to it, you really start to prefer the conventional reels when you're surf fishing, pier fishing, or jetty fishing. So, Can you show us an example of what it looks like when you're used to it? I will show you, and I would be thrilled to show you an example of what it looks like when you cast an open face reel with confidence. Check this out. Yep. 
that though. All right, guys, so that was easily 100 yards <laughs> that I just launched that weight. Before now, I it was like 45 yards. Here, so. Yeah, so very important, guys, check this out. When you're retrieving, you want to level wind these open face reels. So what I'm doing is with my thumb, with my left thumb, we're going back and forth really, really evenly and putting that line evenly on the spool. If you don't do that, you're going to mess up your reel and, and you're going to get is. tangled. And here's my line, okay? So I just launched that about 100, 110 yards straight out. Now, when you have a live pilchard on or something like that, those live baits can't take that kind of force. But if you're fishing dead bait or crabs, you can launch them, man. You can get them 100 yards out. No problem at all. All right, guys, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you just a couple little pointers. When you're casting your open face reels, uh, when you're on the surf, obviously a long rod helps tremendously. This is a this is an eight foot star rod. It's a heavy duty. Uh, you can <laughs> show right here. He I got the duty. deluxe. It's got 40 to 50 pound class line. It's an eight foot rod, but um, it's a stout rod. I mean, you can you can see you can really put up a, a lot of pressure on that rod. I and want you to break it so bad. You want me to break it? No, I want to see it. No, like, you don't want me to break you can, it. You can put a lot of pressure on this rod. Oh, no, God. because these rods, guys, they have a lot of width. They have a lot of strength. They have a lot of backbone, and they don't break. I mean, I've had one of these rods for 25 years and it's still going great. So what you want to do when you start practicing, you want to get used to doing this. Before you even open your, your uh, drag, when, when you cast, you want your weight, the, the line that comes off of the tip of your rod, about even with your spool of your reel, okay? So that, that gives you amount of play, that gives you torque, uh, and it gives you whip on the monofilament to whip it out there, okay? Now, what you should do is you should get used to, just do this with your weight. When you're, when you're learning how to use this conventional rod, just do this, back and forth. And you're gonna start to, you're gonna start to learn what it feels like when the weight comes to the end of its, uh, of its little swing there. Because when, when you're casting, you want to come when the weight is back here when the weight swings back right at the last moment before it starts to swing forward that's when you want to cast okay some people do an over like an over some people do like an overhand cast i don't like the overhand i like more of an under underhand because you're you're whipping it up and out that's the way i prefer it so as you're practicing, guys, you know, you get your weight, you have it level with your reel, and you just swing it back and forth. You just swing it back and forth. Make sure there's nobody behind you. You don't want to clock somebody in the head with a lead weight. Nope. Okay? Now, the first 20 times, 30 times, and trust me, discipline yourself not to try and overdo it early. Uh, obviously, you want to cast far. Everybody wants to cast far, get it out over the over the sandbar. But guys, right now is the time when you're learning. So what you're going to do is you take your you take this down. Now it's free spool, and you're holding it with your thumb. It's very important that your thumb doesn't let go of that spool. You got to make sure your thumb does not let go of that spool because once it starts spinning. If your thumb's not on it, then it's gonna fly out of control. Are you also gonna show us an example of that? I am gonna show you an example of that. Also, when you're starting out, there's a ball bearing dial. You tighten the ball bearing down a little bit when you're learning, because what that does is, that helps control the spinning. If you tighten it all the way down, you can't cast as far when the ball bearing is tight, but when you tighten it down, you're gonna have a lot less backlashes. I, I use a nice loose ball bearing because I can whip it out really far like that, but that's after that's after 20, 25 years of, uh, of practice, okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he taught you. I need to open the deal. Okay, push it down. Oh, down. There you go, it's open. Oh. Now rock it back and forth. Ready? You don't have to push too hard yet. Just get a nice little gentle cast. Ready, go. And stop it. 
Whoa. Nice cast, girl. That's awesome. No backlash whatsoever. Sophie, very, very proud of you. I'm very, very proud of you, Sophie. How far was that, Papa? Huh? How far was that? Uh, well, that was probably, probably 40, 50 yards. Woo! First shot. So guys, I'm using an eight foot uh, conventional rod. This is a star rod. Some guys like using them a lot longer. I'm actually, the more and more I'm doing surf fishing, the more and more I'm actually preferring a longer rod. It's very cumbersome. It's a one piece. You can't disassemble this. So it becomes very cumbersome for storage and transport. But when you're out here, man, it makes all the difference in the world. So guys, all right, now we're gonna, what we're gonna do, we are actually gonna start casting. So we're, our, our spool is gonna be open. We have our thumb on our spool. We start to swing our weight. Now, when you whip this weight out, you wait until the weight is all the way back and then you swing it forward. And then when, when the weight is passing you is when you wanna let go. So you're coming with an upward motion, okay? And you wanna let the weight go as the weight is passing you by. And you'll start to get the feel of it. It's gonna take a while. So whoop, I almost knocked myself in the head of the weight. <laughs> Replay that. Uh, that'll, be, uh, that'll be on the blooper reel. So, what we're gonna do, guys, is you when you release your, your thumb from the spool, you've gotta keep your, your thumb really gently touching the spool as it's going out. Because what that'll do is it keeps it in control. You're controlling it. Because once this thing starts to spin, if your thumb comes off, it's gonna go out of control. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Watch this. Okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm literally, I'm not gonna cast it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop the weight. Watch it, here's the weight. And I'm gonna drop the weight and I'm gonna take my thumb off the spool just for one second. And I'm gonna show you what happens, ready? Here we go. You see that? That is a big, big no-no. Literally, once it hits the ground, the weight stops. And so the, the line isn't coming out anymore, but the spool is still spinning. So it throws all the line off, this gets all tangled up, and you wind up losing and replacing all your line, which is not good. So now, to get the backlash out, and you're gonna have to do this too, you put pressure on, you open this up, you put pressure on with your thumb, and then you just pull. And you just pull, and you pull, and you pull, and you pull, and eventually, all those little loose ends come out, okay? Now that wasn't a very bad one. I've had them a lot worse than that. And don't worry. Especially him. Yeah. Guys, don't worry. You're gonna have those backlashes. It's gonna happen, okay? So, uh, so again, you don't want that to happen. Make sure your thumb stays on your, on your line. But when you cast it, let go. No, when, when you're casting it, your thumb should still be really lightly touching the line as it's going out. And very important, you watch your weight as it's going and as it's coming down as soon as you have to time it as soon as it hits the water you gotta boom you gotta stop it with a hard stop and stop that spool from spinning and if you do that your cast will look like this ready okay my thumb's on the line right? it's on the line it's on the line stop okay no backlash whatsoever. Check that out. No backlash whatsoever. That's because I watch the weight, and as soon as it hits the water, boom, we stop it. Now, again, level wind on the way in. Okay? This has got a six to one gear ratio. It's a really fast gear ratio. I love the old speed masters. Uh, the pen jig masters are good, but they've got a slower gear ratio. And um, when you're chasing fast fish like Barracuda, a lot of times you need that faster gear ratio. But as you can see, I just casted that out 80 yards and I got it in no problem whatsoever because of the fast gear ratio. All right, Lorenzo, you're going to, you're practicing throwing my Speedmaster open face conventional reel. Uh, guys, 10 year old can cast my conventional reel. We're showing them how that whole thing works. There it is. A uh, little bit of a backlash, but we can deal with that. We can deal with that. It's okay, son. 
That was a good 40 yard cast. We can deal with that. Right, son? Yeah. Okay. There's a little that was my best get the tangle out himself. That was my best cast of my day. All right, we're almost there. Watch the level wind, baby. Level winding, nice and even. Guys, 10 years old, he gets it. For the first 30, 40 times you're trying this, I'm gonna suggest that you just just kind of just kind of launch just a little bit like this. That's like 20 yards. Okay? Seriously? That's it. Because here's what you're gonna do. You've got to get used to controlling this spool with your thumb. And you gotta get used to the, the weight swing. So when it comes back, you throw it and it's and stop it. Okay? Oh, keep keep filming. Check this out. Come from behind me here, Sophie. Right here, right there, right there. Don't hit me. No, I won't hit you. Okay, so I'm not gonna throw hard, but what I want to, when I show you is okay, the weight, the weight comes back. When it comes back, underhand, and stop. Okay, once you do that, there's no backlash. And little by little, you do that 30, 40 times, you're gonna get used to the weight how it swings, feeling the pressure. Each rod is different, each reel is different, and uh, and you gotta get used to your equipment and how it performs. And little by little, you can start pushing it a little further out, a little further out, and don't get frustrated when you get into some, some tangles because they're gonna happen. And uh, you just gotta deal with it and learn how to take them out. So check this one out in slow-mo. All right, guys, I got a little bit of backlash on that last pass, and uh, guess what? That's what kids are for, teaching them how to get my backlashes out. So, guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hope you learned something. We love surf fishing. We're going to show you how to catch big fish. We catch snook and permit, big jacks and sharks and stuff like that. We use conventional reels because they really, really give you a lot more line, a lot more flexibility. Uh, once you get used to them, trust me, you're going to like them a lot uh, and venture out from the spinners. I still use spinners. I've got my big pen uh, spin fisher V's over there um, and they're great. I love them and they're great when you have people that maybe have never fished much before. It's great to have those spinning rods there so that they can have fun fishing as well. But guys, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, give us a thumbs up and uh, watch the kids as they cast. So easy. My 10 year old son, my 12 year old daughter, they can cast to check it, check it out once they get my backlash out. All right, Sophie got herself into a little mess here. What happened? Yeah, well, first thing you gotta do is you gotta open your bail. That's a little bit more tricky. Uh, what did I, wait, what did oh, I no, no, do? don't pull too tight. I'm helping you. She's going to help. We're going to help. Let me see it. It's, 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 what did I do wrong? Oh, that happens, honey. Like I said, guys, uh, this happens. So you can't get frustrated when you get a little backlash. Uh, it, it just happens. It happens to the most experienced fishermen. And it happens to me every now and then. And wow. it's just part of the deal. But you can most of the time, you can get them out without much of a problem. But Sophie, I, I gotta say, Lorenzo got that out pretty quick. That was actually a very nice cast. So you got that out a good 50 yards without play, much play, effort. Play my good one. Your good one. That was a good one. You just, a little bit of backlash on the, on the tail end. All right, Lorenzo, you're up now.